So let's uh, make some cubes to uh, smash with our wrecking ball. On your number pad, we're going to tap the one key and the eight key twice. And we're going to zoom in using the mouse scroll wheel so we can see what we're doing. We're going to add a cube by typing Shift A and add our cube. I'm going to go over to the left and choose Move and use the arrow keys to move it so it's sitting just above the, uh, the floor. If I need to check, I can tap the one key to see that it is in fact above the floor. Tap the eight key twice to see it there. I need to make more of these cubes. Uh, to do that, I'm going to go over onto the right and choose the Modifier Properties button, which is the little spanner. Click on that. I'm going to drop down the menu where it says Add Modifier. I'm going to add an array. This is going to add some cubes, and at the moment it's adding two cubes. If I double click in there, I'm going to make 10 cubes. And at the moment they're all one apart, so it just makes one long cube. I want to make them a little bit bigger than one uh, apart, so I'm going to change that from one. I'm going to double click on it and make sure it says 1.02. And then hit enter. And now I've got my blocks sitting there on the screen. I'm going to use my move arrow to move it nicely onto the floor. So that's one lot of cubes. I'm now going to add some cubes uh, in the other direction. So again, I'm going to go up here to add modifier and add another array. Uh, this time, this down here at the bottom, make sure you go down to the bottom section. Uh, it says two, I'm going to change that to 10. And again, I need to change the uh, relative offset, but I don't want to do it for the X axis. So I want to make that zero. In fact, it's the Y axis. I want to change that to 1.02. Hit enter. And again, I can use my green arrow to move those back. So they're sitting nicely on top of the floor. And I want to build up a little higher, probably not 10 high. So I'm going to add another modifier. And again, it's the array. Make sure I scroll down here in the right panel to the bottom section. At the moment, it's two. I'm going to make that five high. And I need to change the X value there to zero, the X offset, and the Z value to 1.02. And there are some blocks. The next step is we need to apply each of the arrays we've set up. So you need to scroll to the top because we've got to do these in order. Starting with the top one, you'll see the word apply. Click that and that actually disappears. I'm now left with just the next two. So I'll click the next one down and then finally the last one. And that makes each of the blocks an individual block for us to work with. The next step is just to left click somewhere in your box of cubes, your pile of cubes, hit the tab key, type P and choose by loose parts. This will separate them and make them all separate boxes. We need to give uh, a mass or a weight to each of the little cubes. So to do that, go over to the Physics Property button, select Rigid Body, and we're going to change the mass from one kilogram to 0 0.1 kilogram. Then we need to make sure they all have the same setting. So we're going to go up, up here, we're going to hit the Tab key and go Object, down to Rigid Body, and copy from active and then wait patiently because this will take a couple of minutes to copy the properties onto each of our cubes because we actually have a large number of cubes there that we're working with. Once that uh, menu has disappeared, 
and all our blocks now are separate. We're going to go back to the object menu. We're going to go set origin and we're going to go origin to geometry. And now all of our blocks are individual blocks. And if we scroll out and play our animation, in fact, I'll just hit the tab key and select, hit the play key. Then we've started our animation. Now the only problem we've got is our ball is quite light and we need to make it a little bit heavier. So I'm going to stop that, rewind it. So I'm now going to make the ball just a little bit heavier. I'm going to do that by left clicking in a blank area just to deselect all the cubes. I'm going to left click on the sphere itself. Over here I've got the mass of the uh, sphere. At the moment it's one kilogram. I'm going to increase that. I'm going to double click and change the one to four kilograms. And then hit the enter key and now run my animation. The ball is a lot heavier now. And I may want to play around with the mass of the ball, making it heavier to see what effect that will have on my animation.